Hello and welcome to the Screenshot, the youth program where we have raw and unfiltered conversations about the issues that we face as young people of Zimbabwe. My name is Melinda Ngube and I am your host. So today we are going to talk about uh, the cost of living in Zimbabwe and how it affects us young people of Zimbabwe. And joining me today are two amazing guests and I'm going to let them introduce themselves. Uh, okay, um, my name is uh, Prez Nkara uh, from Zizo Motion Pictures. I'm the director and founder of Zizo Motion Pictures, uh, a youth-led organization uh, which is a media, art uh, and development. Uh, we envision uh, to see the voices of the young people in marginalized areas uh, amplified, heard and celebrated. Yeah. And my name is Precious Nyoni. I am a development practitioner. I'm a girl child advocate. I love, love issues to do with women empowerment. And I'm also a board member of a local uh, soccer club called Tingeta Football Club. Yeah, that's basically me. You know, every week when I do these things, like, I always, I always leave this place feeling inadequate because every, every guest of my CV is like this long. <laughs> and I'm always thinking if I was to ever go to a show, I'd right. Melinda. <laughs> But it's, it's very impressive to come across young people who are doing amazing things in our community. So welcome to the show, guys. Thank you. So in Jongova, you guys do a lot of things. And I think this topic is I feel. We want to talk about basically the cost of living in Zimbabwe. This is a kuluma about things as, as you include that, you know, I don't know if you guys know, but the, was it last year or this year? Who put me that document? Yeah, my taxes, land, land. You got quella, my passport. The interesting challenge. So we want to dive into the cost of living in in Zimbabwe. So as business people, and you guys have said you guys are into those type of things. Like, how does it affect you as business people? You know, we know so also we change or or we change every single day when it comes to day to day activities as a as a as a seven in the land, land. Okay, so for me, yeah, you know, having to wake up probably to a price hike, we are among Aluguti. Okay, right now, I am trying to make ends meet because I'm not doing one thing at a time. Because the moment I focus on one thing, you know, then the other thing is not balancing. And so now, if I wake up to a price hike, I have to make ends meet. But it affects me because I'm also. A young adult i'm also growing i'm trying to stabilize my financial base as well so it takes a toll on me not only you know physically but you know mentally as well that is where we talk mental health issues so it really does affect us because when you get to look at the economy of of the country we are all trying to probably get to a point where it's stabilized but it's a process it's not a thing as if it's a corner so you know you just sit there and you you, you just have to to make it work we have to you have no choice <laughs> you have yeah. to make it work yes yeah. yeah, 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 and uh, I think that the most important thing is that uh, it's not difficult, especially for young people to really have a, a standard life, you know, in terms of accessing healthy, you know, healthy uh, is something which is very expensive in Zimbabwe mm. to really sure. get uh, help in hospitals mm. and in private hospitals. So it's mm. really something which is very difficult, especially also for young girls. You know, uh, we've got girls uh, in many areas who still can't even uh, manage to get pets uh, even for themselves. Uh, so there are a lot of issues also around SRA, HRA. And also in terms of uh, young boys, we really talked about mental health. You know, it's something which is very stressing to really wake up and uh, you don't know what are you going to eat uh, in the morning or what are you going to eat tonight be, because there is unemployment, uh, you don't have money, there are price hikes, everything is going up yeah. while you, you don't have a job. You know, there's nothing painful than things going up and you don't have any means to get income, a decent income, uh, which, which we end up finding a lot of boys into drugs. Uh, into crime, yeah, into different things that, that you know, affect you, our community. I'm going to start here. You, you said something about to a price hike. Yeah. 
exercise. It happened to me. I'm as always ending as No, I, I, Basics, I like, feel like I need to vent mm. first. In the way, I'm as always really affected me. You go Nearly my Zoe and Gaga, and then it's now mm -hmm. like, yes, because I think yeah. pick and pay me, my dear, for something. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know, it's not easy, even like, get us that little matres home shover, good to her, I'm sure it is. Do you know how depressing it is? Oh, what a partner. Would a twenty rand, Zakat and Pendugan, and then also says Mamma Rumas, Uti, Umsho of Susa by eight dollar, and you're not really shocked because oh, Buzayan Uti, I see, because this is something mm -hmm. that one now at used yeah. to. There was a data, and that's cool. Yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. <laughs> there have been fights on Twitter, Uti, it is Zimbabwe has the highest data in Southern Africa, mm -hmm. but we're not the richest country. I mean, most of our lives mm -hmm. are what are yeah. on the internet, right? Mm -hmm. So, only mm -hmm. might say that data is not a big thing, but equally, mm -hmm. but it's a big thing. Yeah. So, guys, imagine <laughs> we're going to make a topic out of it, data. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what it is. Yeah. Yes, yeah. it is what it is. There are some things that we just can't seem to escape, and mm. mm -hmm. so, go buza. We're now speaking in general terms, and mm. for someone not you guys, and mm. how does the a price of it that you could like affect that? I don't know. Then I want to make this a topic. Sure. Yeah, yeah. In terms of it that is very important, you know, mm. because personally I can uh, relate this to me uh, the kind of work that I mostly do. Uh, I was I was self-taught, you know. Mm. I learned a lot of stuff from YouTube you know, how to create yeah. content and uh, all that, you know. So really having uh, high prices in terms of data, uh, we are really limiting more opportunities to to a lot of young people, especially, especially those who are really in uh, marginalized areas where, where they can't really access information to get themselves educated on certain different things. They can't do their school research. You know, there's there's a lot that you can really do with the uh, internet, even just even for you to create a skill, you can get a skill just by using you YouTube and get a uh, mm -hmm. decent income without even going to school and all that. So it's really limiting uh, a lot of people, especially in disadvantaged uh, areas now. All right. Queen, this days are so quickly. Yeah, I want to talk about uh, I'm a passport. I don't know yeah. if you guys have realized what the yeah. price of passports have mm -hmm. gone up. And, mm -hmm. and I have a, a, a friend of mine who wants to move overseas. And, mm -hmm. and she was telling me, Oguti, from E. Tom and Queen. Queen Angela, can I go and say, I'm a blood test or something? Yes. Turn, go away, beep. No, what's that? <laughs> TB test. TB test. Yeah, when you're talking about TB test, you're a Dura. She's telling me getting a visa, applying for it is expensive. She's telling me you go to the passport itself, it's expensive. It seems like everything yeah. around us really is now skyrocketing. Mm -hmm. We can't really yeah. do anything. Yeah. And mm -hmm. So imagine having someone or, or a relative wanting to do that. Now it falls on what? Online. You go to yeah. Yeah. So now let's talk about um, effects of... Um, effects of high cost of living in Zimbabwe. Let's talk about that. What are the effects of the high cost of living in Zimbabwe? Okay, so the high cost of living is affecting us. I'll continue reverting back to us as youth mm -hmm. because, you know, we are taking the toll so much because we are the leaders. When Wherever you are going, they are like, Asas in Elisalai, like Abadalabetu, that is what they are saying. You just have to make it work. And having to make it work nowadays is just probably move of us is, you know, there is a high rate of people moving out of the country. We're mentioning the issue of our passport to mm -hmm. someone needs mm -hmm. to get out of the country. You know, there is a potential that is mm -hmm. seeking to move to another country because mm -hmm. they are looking for greener pastures at the end of the day. So it is so mm -hmm. affecting because right at this point, uh, probably we're going to run out of uh, Amanesis because most of them, it's plus 4-4, four, four. they are already that side. Mm -hmm. And so that is one uh, a cause of a high cost of living that we are having. We are having like the youths that are the ones that are active, you know, citizens of the society moving to other parts of the world to find uh, greener pastures. And we cannot say they are wrong at the end of the day. It is because they are actually trying to utilize greener, but greener probably some have got Abanguana mm -hmm. and all of that. And, you know, if I'm getting mm -hmm. so much like that I can just eat 
Mgadu Nchova, as you were saying, that in Penvug and Tamba Mabati, my sister, Singabo Chala Pakipito. So now I have to remove that dollar and also those are other pushing factors that are literally, you know, affecting us in Jema, my youth in Jema, and it is mm -hmm. what we are supposed to live with. That is why I said, Kumelu Vogue, and just make it, and just see Ubuti, who uh, corner when I and of which also mm -hmm. it leads to a point where we really have people resorting to certain behaviors to make easy money. Just find the easy way out. What can mm -hmm. we do? I'll be an escort near Chaya, maybe 200 a night, 200 US dollars, then I'll be good. So those are other issues that rise because of the high cost of living in Zimbabwe. We are now trying to find the easy way out and it's all falsification. I think I, I, you yeah. said something about Uti Abantu, they are now resorting to living and mm. other people, Abasugayo, they are like specialists in fields. It's not only Abantu, Abasugayo, they are like in this area and stuff. Mm. Some people are specialists okay. in their fields and sure. stuff and that leaves us at a disadvantage because we don't yeah. have, we now have few people who are mm. able because you spoke about the health and mm -hmm. how important it is. Mm -hmm. Now imagine mm -hmm. someone who specializes in this and doesn't have a heart transplant and then like us and Janus are doing a macrina pastures mm -hmm. somewhere. So now we have to pay a lot of money. You would see, oh, you have to fly someone to India. Have you heard that before? Yes. Yeah. To us as your operator in India. Mm -hmm. So that's the, there's a term, brain drain, yeah. brain drain, and get mm here, it is really to live a brain drain. And Okay, so in terms of the other effects, um, I would really love to focus on the girl child. You know, uh, I recently did a, a, a film which we are yet to launch called uh, A Trip of Trade. You know, it's talking about the same situation where, whereby uh, we are now having parents uh, who are trading their children for riches. You know that's uh the issue which which is really uh normal i guess to to special to the rural areas uh where 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 by their child marriages you know yeah. where by uh people prefer to send a boy child to the school and say uh, you we can't take you to school because you are going to get married you're going to be taking care of the kids in the home state and all that they yeah. they are not that much exposed uh, that uh, a girl child can really uh, reach uh, to another level. So uh, most most of the parents, uh, they will prefer to really sell their children, like trade their child uh, for other people. And also there are situations like especially the tripping of people, you know. Mm -hmm. some Sometimes it's not only that um, the child would have wanted to do something, but uh, you 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 find that sometimes there are parents who really use their children to even trip other guys, you know, because they believe that they are going to even benefit from yeah. from uh, from that guy, and they start uh, sourcing money from that guy uh, for, for them to have a standard way of living, which at the end of the day it affects uh, the girl child with uh, a lot of consequences which come on those child marriages, especially if it's a forced one. Uh, a first one will really have a, a, a number of problems em emanating like uh, gender-based violence there and different kind of uh, issues, you know. So I think those are uh, one of the uh, effects uh, which are really uh, a problem to young people where young people are now sent to marriages which uh, they are not even willing uh, to go to. And also the issue of uh, young people in 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 other rural areas especially uh, there's uh, rural areas which we had visited mm. uh they had, um i forgot that the name of the place but close to mass close to maswingo they are uh, in in uh Bridge road but that's that site in maswingo when you are going to the border you know a lot of young girls they uh they are now uh, selling their bodies to truck drivers you know just for them to really try and uh, feed their families and uh, meet even uh, the peer pressure that they see on social media okay. you know especially special for those young girls in the rural areas some of them they now have uh, mobile phones they've got access to this kind of content which really at the, at the end of the day make them think uh, about things that they can't really get at that point of time which which is now giving them more pressure you know to really try and get those things at a fast way of uh, getting cash you know by selling their bodies to those truck drivers so they are now uh, in really 
big risks now you know because it's not uh you you we can't say they are always obvious using protection you find that maybe they have got other people who really even uh want to have uh, unprotected sex with them uh leaving diseases or stis to them and at the end of the day uh, they are facing a lot of difficulties around their lives i, I think there are a lot of issues that we can talk about especially for mm. girls really mm. uh with this kind of economy. Yeah, you mentioned a lot and I want to go back to something that you said before, Yoguti, other girls can't even afford armor pets. Yeah. So these are just basic things, yeah. standard things in general yeah. that every girl child needs. Mm -hmm. yeah. So talking about basic stuff, now we are also at ages where there are some things that we should have right now and mm -hmm. that the previous generations had at their ages. and. I yeah. mean, in other countries, you see people moving out at 18. Yeah. You're going yeah. to 18, you're going. But, I mean, I still stay with my mother and my father. <laughs> yeah. I still stay with, not by choice, and, mm. but yeah. because I cannot afford to yeah. move to another place. I cannot afford the rent. To, I can't afford to be paying rent. Maybe the only thing I can afford is the rent. Mm. And I, I won't eat, I won't go anywhere, I won't have data, I won't have anything. You're yeah. going to... It's just the rent. So, mm -hmm. what has, what does our standard of life look like because of e locals and the cost of living in Zimbabwe? What is it looking like right now? Yeah. So I can say mm -hmm. a standard of life, said to, is at a point where it's really critical, especially for us uh, growing mm -hmm. youths. You know, um, you get to a point where uh, I will bring in the society now. You know, they are looking at you and they are like. At this age, as you as you mentioned, you're supposed to be having one, two, three, four, five. But then if we get to look at the reasons why I don't have some of the things that they are expecting me to have, it's because of the high cost of living at the end of the day. Um, mm -hmm. I can move out of my parents' house or rent. I can only afford to pay rent. Mm -hmm. I have to wear something. I have to eat something. I need this, you know, basics at the end of the day. Mm -hmm. But... You know, the, the life that now I will live uh, gets me to a point whereby it's only me affording the bread that I can bring home. It's only me affording this that I can bring home, which now has to have me having multiple streams of income at the end of the day. I just have to make ends meet. And that takes a toll on me because I'm a human being. Mm -hmm. And we're talking, you know, mental health issues. Like, there are so many people that we find in the Lapayana. It's not like, ah, we are Zen Zisa, Hatibirela Pan, No, 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 no. Mm -hmm. Like, before we judge a person about the state of life that they are in, you know, mm -hmm. and always being judgy about at this particular point in time, I really believe that it is good to really go there and see why people are falling. Not only to Ubabaza when someone falls and be like, ah, that way that I learned. But when we get to a point where we mm -hmm. can say, why are those people falling into this? He's selling drugs. You know, just seek to find the why before you judge a person because yeah. that is where we are right now. We're having drug lots, we are trying to make fast cash, we're having, mm -hmm. uh, you know, sex work is now something that is the norm. Mm -hmm. uh, but then it leaves a lot of uh, gaps in the sense you would see, at the end of the day, we are cool, we are up. It's not like I can just easily sell my body, get quick cash and all of those things. Mm -hmm. They are literally, but because there is a high cost of living, because I have children that I have to feed at home. Someone yes. says, you know, umtuanuza, we are mama, teach you tell lock. These days we get print on my color and all of those mm. things, mommy. And the only thing that I have probably between mm. me and whatever is dollar or something. Mm. My child needs this. Now I need to find means of surviving with my family. Mm. And so before we judge, because we are so quick to judge people, I, I am one person who believes in, let us go there and find out why are they falling into certain things. Mm. And then probably we can understand. Some people say, this generation, okay, the opportunities, they might be there. We are faced with nepotism at the end of the day. I can apply, mm. I have my papers, it's all there. But then probably I'm going to be called into an interview that already has someone for that post. You know, she was giving me a topic to talk <laughs> about. There's <laughs> already <laughs> someone, but you say, Queen, I'm hoping, oh God, probably yeah. Laming is a visa and mm. I can change the situation at home. So it goes beyond, beyond, beyond. So when you are on the other side, probably Upila a little bit better. 
we, we tend to judge people who are struggling to make ends meet, but really yeah. let's go there and find out why is it like that and how can we at least probably as a community come together to try and solve such situations. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Any more thoughts? Yeah, uh, for me, I, I think in, in terms of uh, our standard of living, <laughs> it's difficult to really talk about the standard way of living, especially if you've been not much exposed to to how other people are living outside there, sure. you know, especially mm -hmm. let's say you've been here in Bulawayo since birth, mm -hmm. you know, you don't, you don't know how uh, things look like even in other countries. You don't know how things... it, that's why I, I, it makes us <laughs> yeah, say what you were is full of lacking. Fake people. Ah. In, internet is ju that's just content, you know. Con right. con content is content, you know. There are, there are a few of reality stuff. Even, even nowadays, reality shows are, are even scripted and, and being acted out. You when know? you go to South Africa, <laughs> I'm just basically um You know, sometimes it's not really big things. Like yeah. you to yeah. the standard of living. Yeah. You know, sometimes I'm a smooth I was you know, so you're so marveled by you're so big and more. And my logic in they've got malls. They don't even have to get into town. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> That's why it's yeah. like even the basic things is when it's choyo. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you know, but when it's just because what you have been in the city life, but it, take a look at Umta no Kamba and Ngola Emma Kyle, Sally Hamby, a seka, a you know, you have got different ways of standard living or different expectations, you know, mm. especially say in Joe Umta no as a one in Pomp. They won't talk about yeah. having water coming out of their tape, you know, because they because they are not they are, they are not much exposed uh, to other places where where like they describe a standard of living. So so me I believe the a standard way of living, uh, it's it's about where you are, you know, uh, and where you grew up, and so that we don't have those kind of much expectations which really affect a lot of people in terms of mental health you know mm -hmm. a lot of people are getting crazy because they expect uh, a lot of things that they can't get at that point of time you know mm -hmm. so I, I will believe uh, a standard way of living uh, for me this is mm -hmm. for me this is not for everyone or <laughs> okay. if you are in UK my mm -hmm. standard way of living might be different it's with not you. The same as if you are in Rwanda a standard way of living is going to be different you know yeah. we don't have to make uh, other people expect much or to say you know this is standard but for me i uh, it's really having access to water access uh, to health care mm -hmm. uh, access to education you know yeah access to clothing it, it's just it's i think my standard way of living is just about getting my rights speaking you of know? water like getting my rights that is another one as well speaking you know? of water <laughs> Yeah, yeah. You know, yeah. So I, I, I get your point. Yeah, I get your point. But I feel like I haven't so this is a so different. Yeah. But I really do get your point, especially my lapokon. I know, funela aman rights are basic rights in general. Yeah. You don't want above and beyond. And yeah. Yeah, and you have the right to a good road. Very. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, definitely. Yeah. We have the right to yeah. a good road. So, definitely. guys, Bella, this is a good little segment. <laughs> we yeah. now have to make way for segment number two. Oh, okay. yeah, by the way, this episode was proudly brought to you by Catherine. Sing our coach. So, yeah. guys, thank you so much for joining me on this part of mm. the segment where we were yeah. just diving into uh, my effects of the cost of living of Zimbabwe. So, Thank you for having us. Anytime. Anytime, we agree with you. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. So, thank you guys. So, we are now moving on to the second segment with our two next guests. Welcome back to the sec second segment of the show. Joining me now is the producer herself, Catherine Pini. 
<laughs> the lady of the moment, the woman of the moment who brought us all together today to have this discussion is Catherine. And oh, Catherine, I won't let her say anything for now, <laughs> but our other guests, I'll let you introduce yourself first. All right, so my name is Yolanda Moyo, a former junior counsel, and I'm a youth advocate for girls, for young girls. And I have worked with Zizo Motion Pictures, and he was also here, the director. Yes, Yolanda. Hi. All right, can you hop, hop? Um, um, so happy to be here, part of this discussion. Well, I'm Catherine Piri, the one who produced this show, also the innovative director and founder of a company called Cortical Connect. It's a tech company that mainly provides socio-economic opportunities for women. We have our programs, which are tech updates, and we have the sound engineering academy, just to mention a few. Thank you. <laughs> so anyway, we want to pick up uh, for our discussion on the cost of living in Zimbabwe for us young people. So how does a cost of living as young people, how does it look for you guys and how does it affect your future plans for marriage, I'm assuming, for your family, for a career, for education, interest in Jalo? So we'll start with you, Miss Producer. <laughs> Thank you so much. So um, basically, there are a lot of things that are affected, including uh, your goals. I will talk of an experience that I had myself. Uh, there, there was a time where I finished my A-level and because of the whole thing of inflation, there was no money, uh, my parents were not able to pay my own fees. So at the end of the day, I was forced to compromise and uh, you end up doing, as a young person, you end up doing some other side hustles, city, in vernacular, so that you get yourself going and at the end of the day, your goals are delayed. Because imagine you would have planned with after a level you go for varsity, but then at the end of the day, if funds are not permitting you to do so, you will take a girl, peer quality, and people will see you serve a judge, especially the community. So I said, ah, I was in a sound engineer, but mathematics without mm -hmm. having to know the actual story. So at the end of the day, you are forced to postpone your goals and be like, ah, Nzawenza maybe next year because of money, because unga kanyela la my parents la ba we hola imali inman already. Not also to mention ama exchange rates are corn, especially in rate of bond. It's really scary because equal every day. Ula la ba jelly rate in obwe send ba jelly in so ah. That's it from me. I don't know. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> for me, I'll just give the scenario away by if you look at a long time back, a 20 year six old was able to move out of their parents' womb. I was saying this. Yes, yes they were <laughs> so able to move out of their parents' mm -hmm. womb. But if you are looking at this era now, we are not able because the finances they are so not permitting us to do so right so um, if you are 26 year old right now you you are expected you there you have your societal expectations the society society is expecting you to have certain things by the age of 26 uh, maybe you'll be looking forward to be the one supporting your um, your parents looking after your siblings and stuff but at the age of 26 you're out there still living under your parents roof not able to provide anything and it's so disheartening, honestly. And it's so disheartening. I just have yeah, to say that. I hear you. Yeah, and the other issue coming to the whole issue of uh, you mentioned something about marriage, right? Uh, I think also recently you get that pressure you go to your because we have nowadays we let's just love and do I wouldn't call them I'm an opportunity. I'm an opportunity opportunities so you find out to love my loom right but one who's so cool you right now you can tell a pan i silly baby least we get the way and then so if i get pressure because they know what it once you get low bullet but all i love is not so at the end of the day <laughs> Young people, yes, yes, are fatal because others are living instead of what's the best for me is abandoned, but what's for me means you will survive. 
Mm. You see, which is something I am very familiar. And yes. to add on on that, right, and you be having that pressure, what would help you to escape? You'd try to escape reality. When trying to escape reality, you would add other burdens, such as escaping using drugs and substance abuse, right? Mm -hmm. And at the end, it will affect you. Because imagine dropping service from chicken into chicken slice. You are not getting anything. And then you are from university. You have a degree on top of that. Mm -hmm. So it becomes difficult for you. And you would find in escape route, and in escape route, there are drugs, things that would try to budge in your life, and a lot of things will be happening, such as addiction. End up, um, because when they, uh, we have men, we have boys, in fact, uh, the societal rate is on is raising, it's on high, so that's it, it's yeah. high these days. Because we are expected to do certain things that we are not able to because of this cost of living see it's a lot because you okay the ute hours early they will expect a over to touch with um for now i'll call in a low level for now yeah we're for now but you would tell me like my leader because like so we bet and imagine you know at you're still living under the parents when i'm turning 21 okay you're 21 let's say you have a 24 year old boyfriend that yeah, it says Zimbabwe. I mean, I, I imagine it's 24. Like, uti imani amalobolo. Like, he's just trying to make a life for himself. Yeah, well, mm -hmm. these days I think he 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 lobolo maybe I science wise as much because it's 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 really expensive now to 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 take o umtana bantu abeng wako because la wau la mali ya bon se si bon ama abantu ana bon outside of marriages and stuff like that because they do people now don't follow the way things were because sometimes abaya bon just not like they don't want to they just don't have the means I mean in lani so pe la linga zonde li ama boyfriend jam na se tu so se galu nta tenge la mali you go and live with him. I wanna tell you, but it's it. Yeah, that is why you find with you see, like to be honest, uh, no offense to Awazad when you love, but then Awazad we we calculate. Yeah, it's a man to buy calculate. Cause Oma Lumo Uzaba was to write, okay, think Janum, but Hamal and Wum Fana work and Gamble to end obvious is now we charge fifty thousand US up to the ones we buy that. So they actually go in extra mile. They would deny the wona. Umuto perfect. Like Umuto have a seven, they say, achieve a lot in life. Talk of Umuto have a seven, the baby was a very lava, how less quama very feminine. And sometimes they even do it, even Unga Gaza, like they, these Ama arranged marriages. By the time when society we are introduced, boyfriend, like, ah, Vele Gulos, Gulokulus, Kobo, Dongale, Vele, Muyoak, and imagine which way now you find babe. <laughs> like <laughs> over oh, cool. so uh, really, uh, this whole thing of economy is really making abantu be sense ama decisions alama negative consequences because babe can in level they are trying to survive mm. at the same time and the one zima especially if we say university right we are in university we check out data and then your parents may be getting three hundred dollars, mm. right? The school fees is six hundred dollars. There is data, there is accommodation, there is yeah. food, basic necessities that you need as an individual, as a youth. Then they are not able to find that for you. So what are the consequences? What do you end up doing as a girl child? So I think this is affecting our life as the boy child and the girl child is involved in this cost of living that is high nowadays. I don't even have resentment towards your parents, you know. Sometimes I also feel like I have a bad day, but sometimes I don't know how happy. You know, some of these things that you might feel a bit of a resentment towards your parents for some things that they also can't control. And so, man, let's talk solutions, guys. Since then, you man, she is there a way out? Oh, such as trial. What do we do? What are what are we what are we going to do? We end up alone. I personally feel like the government should get involved in this and try to support us with start funds so that we can have projects that will give us money as the youth living in this era. Mm. Or the community should 
support us support our initiative if we come up with a project in certain communities they should support us so that we get money Yes. Funny money. It's all about the bad day. Eh? <laughs> well, um, Mina, I would say everyone has a role to play. Mm. Yes, we we may say this issue, yeah, it affects us as young people, but everyone actually has a role to play. If we take a look at the community, they also have a role to play. Yeah. A role learning you would see I'm talking of a point whereby you have dreams that you want to achieve, right? You have your goals and aspiration, you have your vision, you have your mission in life, you have your principles. So basically sometimes community a judge. Like, all right, citizen clan, wama youth. Espose la pana um dala gumbe m cancel on beman. Lifun go by any pillowin. Now Kuluma when yako they tend to criticize. Yeah, well I'm a loco. Because of Ikeria Pathen and it's like it's, it's society in why they've got a negative meat that actually enable them not to support young people. At the end of the day, Laoya will lay a self esteem as one and feelings are feeling my cocoa. I won't make it in life just because they are not supporting. But if we have a point whereby maybe they say, No, cancel out, um, jail, what are you doing? I cancel a lapa. I'm doing information management technology. I came up with this invention and I think it would help our community. Who's actually our graduate to Mulama Wal? But why can't we have a point whereby we have community leaders also um, taking part and wanting to participate and making sure we see our inventions to the Islamama solutions and they make sure we do them other than just shutting us out. And then also in terms of families, Abazal, there is this whole thing, Yoguti, Umtwana, Nai Funda, like now say Skolo, the whole thing they'll be like, for Kasa Skolo, Upil. But honestly speaking, how many graduates do we have in Zimbabwe right now? Or like, let me say in Plawai, that are not employed because Bafunda Funda became a Skolo, but that degree is no longer working for them now. Why can't we support Abantwana, even if they're saying, all right, fine. I am actually studying to school, but I am giving myself room you know, to even ama side houses or even work um, as an intern in other companies. Because I mean, I, I for one, I don't think we'll see we intern going in company. Why at least you are still a student? Apply the knowledge or if you dive. Why now you get look culture or be going opportunities mm. even if it's outside sim right? That would be something. Then the other thing to us also as young people, let's not, um, I would say, yes, things are hard, things are difficult, but then there's always an alternative. Like we are young, we are vibrant, we are energetic. There's always a plan B. Like if plan B fails, go for plan C. Like, mm. things like that. Let's not make a commercial sex week or among am negative uh, behaviors as a means of surviving because sometimes you are so forced as a young person not to ah, the first way the easiest way mm -hmm. but i'm saying if as a community as families we are so free to young people say about accommodators about la -la -la, you can always go to those leaders or your family or anyone from the community ask them ah I mean, I want to do this and that, but finances are not permitting me to do so. So I'm going to be a man, but they might link you to an opportunity as a leader somewhere in life. So basically, when it comes to the solution, everyone has a role to play, be it the government, be it the family, be it the community. The community. young person, it's okay. You have a role to play. You know, I, I, I've forgotten when it was, but... The, the 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 ruling party was being elected and and they mentioned something about free education and anga stigwa pele up so I think that could have been something a a notice that would go a long way because education is probably one of the most expensive things as is as is as is so if they could revisit that in Toleo Uti education you be free, I think it would help us go yes. a long way because we are Dora. Like it's really expensive, especially now whole is just our TGS and and then Sebefuna a an equivalent yeah US dollar. And it's like 
Yeah, yeah, yeah we do people, young people indulging in like indulging in um pretty much sexual activities. Oh, yeah, I am not even making fun. Oh, yeah, having nothing to do, you it's know. Not, yeah, because okay, 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 shape up mentally. There's a, a, a way how you think, a certain way how you actually uh conduct yourself, like. At school, especially, I would like to talk about the school setup on its own. Kanyela, like, excellence, there is that thing you took on a puza, you have It's a principle that on a twilight, even, usu sevens, ugu as civil M7s, even at all these cuddles, I stick to it. So basically, the school setup on its own, yes, ngati, bas fundisa, but then also there are some principles, some rules that they set as a good promayo, as a person. Then the other thing on the issue of um, free education. I would like to um, comment on what the government has done so far, has been doing okay. on the BIM program, right? Mm. They've been paying fees for some students, helping them, those who mm. cannot afford. I, I, I really um, appreciate that a lot. But then um, I've realized that when it comes to the recruitment process, right, there is nepotism. Mm -hmm. There is uh, more like the thing, like, what teacher wa mimi na kunje le saying, Kethi is a teacher at um, maybe Catherine Academy, Sound Engineering mm -hmm. School, right? And the government has brought um, a BIM program to say, what right, it's Kethi, we are saying those people cannot afford to come to your school. We will pay it just maybe half or something like that. You realize, you uh, mina me na phone. Ha ha, your land, I'm talking about Dalla, we are sanctioned by the civil so like, I'm talking about fifth. So from outside, Aba Aban Dang Bazi, Zafara may be five or even one. And the other group that actually deserve uh, to be that deserve to benefit from the program, they they're left vulnerable. It. Yeah, so I think if the government can also, um, not just give the program, but also go an extra mile to help maybe, let's say, people who will actually look at the recruitment process. We have people from the government itself. We have a one to write, I don't know, the seven is a which criteria, right? Mm. They can even formulate um, templates, maybe with the criteria, as I get an eye, don't know, we have to make sure, and even actually go to the place and clean. See, so from the community, we all find go on bill. Because they forge documents, things like that, and at the end of the day, so we realize the program is in general. So So I think if they can be strict on that process so that there is justice at the end of the day and the actual people who are meant to benefit from the BIM program can benefit. fully benefit. benefit. Yeah. Says, I hope land is really a government. I think it was addressed to you. <laughs> so thank you guys for joining me on this week's episode of The Screenshot. I hope we can do this again because... I know who never did for Google Coloma. We have to cut this shot. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and thank you guys for tuning in every week and watching us do our thing. And please leave a like and a comment on any future episode or idea that you want us to do. We are happy to receive your comments. So see you guys next week. Bye. Bye. Bye.